welcome back to the new video in this video we are going to do the redistribution so we are going to redistribute the ospf in bgp so first i will go ahead and i will access the fmc now and i will go to my device and device management i will edit my device and i will go to routing so right so first i will go to ospf and on the ospf i do have an option of redistribution click on redistribution and click on add over here now i just i want to redistribute ospf in bgp so click on add Right, so I'm not able to add over here. You can see that redistribution tab is disabled for the role internal router. So I have to change the role over here. So I will change that role to ABR. And now I should be able to see that redistribution tab. Still it has been disabled for ABR too. So I will just change again one ABR or ASPR. Click on save. Right, so I need to have a role of ABR and ASBR in order to add my redistribution. Right, I will just zoom out. But yep, here I got the option to add now. I will click on add, and I will say that I need a, I'm a doing redistribution for process ID one. Route type I want to go with the BGP, and I want to. Use use subnets click on use subnets and click on ok uh, as number i do number is 20 right so we are going to use the as number of uh, ftd that is number 10 click on ok and please confirm the as number exists as you sure you want to continue yes so that's the reason I have given the AS number as number 10 because it exists on the FTD and click on save. Now coming to the point, here I have just redistributed from OSPF to BGP but I'm not able to communicate because I did not redistribute BGP into OSPF. So I'll just go ahead and I will do that one. So I will go to my BGP IPv4. And I will go to redistribution tab, click on add. And I want to redistribute it in uh, OSPF, select the OSPF. Process ID is number one. And I uh, don't want to match anything, I will just click on OK. That's it, click on save. And now once that is been done, the another thing is that my distribution is done on from both the side. But the thing is that there is a policy which will block both the traffic. So you need to allow the policy because otherwise the ospf is not able to send the hello messages or anything to the bgp side or the bgp side is not able to exchange a route so I'll go to my policies now i've already created one access control policy so click on edit and now you can see that there is one rule which says that from inside to outside inside to dmz or outside to by directionally I have allowed all the traffic so it should not have any problem for me now so I'll go ahead and I will deploy deployment and click on FTD and deploy and deploy and the policy has been successfully applied so if I go to my router now so if I go to my here if I say do show IP route and you can see that I got the routes from 2, 20, and this one. So if I go to my BGB now, do show IP route, and you see that I should get 1 from BGP. And this is another one, 11. So now if I say that uh, do ping 1.1.1.1 with source loopback 0, I'm able to ping. If I say do ping 11.11.11.11 .11 .11 .11 with source loopback 1, I'm able to ping. 
So this was the lab with the redistribution between OSPF and BGP. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video.